AGS point sheets at December 5. Just write your name, last name, email, whatever it's asking here. Uh, we're gonna get started. We have a lot to talk about because this is the second part of the semester. A lot of things are due and you have to complete your point sheets to get your recognition at the end of the semester. So I just wanna say a huge thank you to all of you guys who participated on the first part. Uh, of the semester. These are just some pictures. Uh, we went to see the Charlie ba Brown play. We did a couple community service with the park in front of Marin General. Uh, this is, is this in Tiburon? That was in Bolinas. Nah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, that was in Bolinas. This was in Tiburon then. Uh, this was Bachata night when we went out dancing. This is the farmer's market. A couple people ate warm. Uh, yeah, we had like, yeah, we had like chocolate, oh, spicy one. This is pie day. We raised a lot of money on that day, so thank you all for participating. Um, and just letting you know, we're almost there. Just I think it's like four weeks. Yeah. So just think of it as a narrow path, and it's almost there. We're approaching it, and it's almost over. Uh, but before it's over, let me tell you guys what's coming up. So I talked to you guys about this in the beginning of the semester. These are reference things that you can do for each category. Please make sure that you're writing everything down. And uh, May 13th, you're gonna submit this form to us. So go to the cafeteria, go to our office, and put it in the mailbox whenever it's ready. Uh, oh yeah, so go back really quick. Uh, I had to change the date because we changed the um, YED night. So it's gonna be actually the Saturday, the day after that. So if you guys wanna take a picture of this, this is all the planned events that we have so far. Uh, we might have a couple more, but we already have a, several that we're doing. Are you guys done? <laughs> and also it's online, so can I or you can take a photo. people that have RSVP'd for the YED dinner. This is, these are the people and the faculty members. So AGS is automatically going to be inviting Gabe, Andrea, Andrea Lang, Luna, and David Patterson because they're part of AGS and they help us a lot with it. But if you still want to nominate David Patterson or Andrea or Gabe or Luna, you can still do it, but just letting you know that we're also going to say a little nice things about them. Uh, and it's due this April, April 7th, which is this Thursday, so please let us know as soon as possible who you're bringing because we have catering services that need to be ready for those people and just email us as, at our Gmail account. that's facing towards the Fine Arts Building and Fusselman Hall. So you'll see us set up there at the entrance. Um, yeah, so please come. Please donate. Okay. Thank you, God. Uh, do you want to make the announcement about your big stuff? Oh, okay. So we have another blood drive. This is the second one this semester. If you missed your chance to donate blood, here is another opportunity. It's going to be April 19th. It's from 1130 to 330. It's really important that if you guys want to participate to make your slot and put whatever hour on this website that you want to go so they reserve a time for you. Uh, it takes about 40 minutes or 45, I don't know if you remember, Brianna? 45 minutes. Um, we're also going to make a table on the April 11th and that can count as HS service points. We essentially are going to be telling people around campus that we're going to have a blood drive, and if they're interested, they can just sign up and make their own hour. Uh, 
or their own appointments. So I know a lot of people are struggling with AGF points, so you can help us during that day from 11 to 2. We're going to be inside the cafeteria. And if you see us, just pop for 30 minutes or for an hour if you can. And if you donate blood, you get 10 points for community involvement. Um, this is for the trivia night. So it's going to be a lot of fun. Um, it has all these shows we're going to talk about. So we're going to have open Q&A. You can talk about your favorite fan theories. There's going to be prizes. They're going to be. Um, this is a good opportunity to um, bring something that has a baked good because we'll sell baked goods to the, to the community and uh, other club members. So this is kind of like an event plus a bake sale, but you're just, you can donate to this, it would help. We're gonna have popcorn, snacks, and soda, and stuff like that, but um, it's a good opportunity to earn, you know, some points in that category if you're lacking. Um, but if you want, you know, bring your friends, or your boss, or a date, you know? <laughs> <laughs> they come, you know, it's gonna be fun. I'll lead the Game of Thrones. Um, if anybody wants to join in on the Harry Potter one, we'd be super open to it. So if you like Harry Potter and you want to take the lead on that, email us or comment on Facebook. Um, the person who was leading it, it is not able to lead it anymore. Um, so if you would like to, you know, join in on that, you'd be fun. Yeah. So you can work at the event, earn AGS points, two points per hour. Or you can attend the event and get uh, college and college and cultural points. So you have two options for the same event. You can't get both; just choose one. Can you go to the next one? Uh, so this is another social event that we're having. We're gonna go rollerblading and run at park. I don't know. Have you guys done that before? I've never been there. I'm super excited. But for those of you who want to come, it's at 7.30, April 14th. We're going to leave college and run at 6.50 to carpool. Or you can meet us there if you want. Um, I have four free tickets for a cow steak. Cow steak? Um, and if you happen to win those four free tickets uh, during the game night or the trivia night, you can go for free. Um, we're All doing right. it. Okay, so this is um, a Sister Cycles thing that we're doing. So basically, uh, it's a community service event that we're putting on, and we're essentially packaging feminine products for local homeless women. That includes tampons and pads, of course. Um, and so we are asking that you please donate one feminine product to receive two points for community involvement. Not very hard, pretty easy points. And the date we'll be doing this on is Wednesday, April 19th, and this is at 3 to 4, which is directly after our general meeting. And this is going to be an AC 100. So yeah, you'll come to your meeting, and then right after, we're just going to start this event. You have an opportunity to win points in both categories in one day, and you can get two points for community service on that day. Um, if we're able to make the packaging, can we still donate? Yeah, you can still donate. Uh, next one. All right. Uh, Give me so like four more minutes. This is a community service event here on campus, the AHO Homeless Youth Connect. I know Brianna is uh, part of the outreach for that event, so if you have anything to say about like how they can contact people to join the event, that would be really great. Because I was kind of left with this, and I don't know how, um, how to contact you guys. No problem. Um, so you can contact me. Um, I can leave my number somewhere in my email. Um, but it's the Youth Connect, so what we're doing is we're having housing, um, jobs, So if you're interested, email us at the AGS email and I'm going to forward you guys to Brian. That's okay. This is a really easy way if you have time to get your points from community service since it's on campus and most of us are here on Thursdays anyway. So, so we're having fall elections for AGS. Uh, every semester you have the opportunity to apply for any position that you want. All positions are available, 
and we say it takes about five hours a week. Uh, sometimes it's less, sometimes it's a little bit more. Uh, but any position that you want to do, uh, it's available, and we're going to be doing elections on these two dates. If you're interested, give me a bio. Just let me know that you guys are interested, and I'll put your name on the ballot, and then you can be voted uh, to be part of a position. So just let me know at least the day before the election day to put your name on the ballot. Yes. So uh, we have... So we have a couple of people here who are running for the ASCOM elections, which is the student body government at College of Marin. Uh, I'm still debating how we can give you guys points for voting in this election, uh, just because I don't know if they give you like a receipt or anything like that, or a submission confirmation. So I want to say that we're going to make it somehow to give you guys points. But I haven't figured it out yet. But I have two people here that I don't, do you want to go first, Amy? Because you have to go. So, hi, everybody. Uh, my name is Amy Diaz. For those that don't know me, I'm the current action president. I have been working pretty hard for the last year to complete uh, some personal projects and some other projects with clubs and also the um, learning communities that is FYE, that is a third year experience community. Emoya, that is a, a community for African Americans, and Puente, that is a community for uh, Latinos, that is a first generation student attending to uh, College of Marine. And this time, like, I'm running again because I really want to conclude this project that I, I, I started, and I really want to make sure that the chain that I, the vision that I had since the beginning is gonna conclude and it's gonna be something real. So for this semester, what I'm planning to do is I want to find like a source to get, you know, pay the, for Math 101 and 103. Now teachers are using something that is called MATLAB. And usually like a student is struggling with math, you know, and 103 is a, is a class that you need to transfer. So you really need to do, okay, it's a five unit class and plus that the MATLAB is $120 or a little bit less, but more than 100. So I'm trying to find like a way to get that pay for students so they can um, take it for 101 and then 103 and have that done. And another of my projects is also, uh, last year we have uh, an event called the Com Common Reading Book. That is a book that we choose and every student has the chance to read it. Uh, some English teachers use it for assignments and some other teachers use it as well. And this time we choose a, a hidden figure and we're trying to also like give a copy to every student so they can have that uh, book available. Last time we have Becoming a Doctor Q and he was one of the, our speakers for graduation. He is a brain surgeon and he was an immigrant and he's a really like a person like really inspired others so it was a really success having it in our, um, in the graduation ceremony. And another project that I have, I just don't wanna overwhelm you, probably are gonna read this in the blog, but another project that I also have been doing is, I've been working with the psychologists here in the department to work with uh, problems with anxiety and depression. So we have some forums for students to come and talk about it and have some feedback, you know, to face like simple issues of anxiety before they get that simple issues of depression after a breakup. So we're still working with us, with uh, Dr. King and Dalila, that are two psychologists that work here in the department. And I have another other project, and if you have time tomorrow, we're gonna have meet the candidate from 11 to two. I'm gonna have a table, and you are welcome to stop by, um, ask me questions. And I just wanna keep working pretty hard, uh, like, with this, especially with this uh, club, I've been part for two years and a half. I have been a, a Northern student for three years and a half. I'm an EOPS student, I'm a Puente student, I'm a mentor and I'm a, a TA for sociology. Um, like I say, I'm the current president, so I have a lot of experience and I'm really passionate about this. This is not just something because I just want to add in my application or, or because it's about popularity. It's not like that. Like, this is kind of like my place where I belong, 
where I want to leave a legacy and it's something I'm not just doing because for myself also for my fellows you know to even uh, like an open door for other students like me that they can see oh I, if, if she can do it I can also do it so this is like really important for me it's not just about you know the outside part like if oh you have the title no it's more about that and yeah so that was just a brief description and like I say please feel free to ask me any question I have been working in so many projects here. The last one was Women's Day with the Moya. And like, please just take the time to meet me and know me a little bit better and give me the opportunity to keep working and keep uh, doing what I really passionate about it, that is work for students. Thank you. Thank you, Amy. Hey Jeff, my name is Ishmael. Um, most of you probably already know me, but if you don't, uh, well, my name is Ishmael, and I've been in AGS for two semesters now. Um, but before I get into my experience or what I'm going to be doing for you guys, I'd really like to first and foremost thank Bella and thank AGS board and all of you guys for endorsing me um, and picking me as the candidate to endorse out of all the, the rest of the candidates. Um, so moving on to my experience, uh, I'm the president of MSA. President of the College of Marine Fitness Club, Vice President of the Transfer Club, um, Treasurer of the Computer Science Club, and the Director of Technology and Media for ASCOM. And I also ju just started my own business, and I'm the CEO of um, my business called Spot Me, which is an app that's going to be releasing um, later and and the end of summer. Um, and I'm not mentioning these clubs and my positions because you know to show off or anything. I'm mentioning it because of. I think experience really counts, and I have a lot of experience with uh, clubs on campus, and I'm very involved on campus, um, and I've done several events with these clubs. Uh, we just started the College of Marine Fitness Club, and it's grown to be the second largest club on campus within three weeks. Uh, I've done MSA events where hundreds of people have showed up, um, and if you've ever been on a college tour, those were organized by myself and some other students from the transfer club. Um, so. In terms of, you know, aside from what my experience, what I'm going to be doing for you guys is I actually went around school and asked 50 random students. Um, some of these were my friends and acquaintances and others were just random students. And I asked them, if you were to change one thing on College of Marine, what would it be and why? And from that list and research that I did and observations I made, I came up with the 10-month agenda, which is right there, um, of exactly what I'm going to be doing month to month and what projects I'm going to be working on. And so again, all of those projects were based on what the students wanted. So some of these projects and examples are creating a better math department so students can pass, um, you know, creating a recreational area so students can just go and play like ping pong or pool or something like that instead of just worrying about school all the time. Um, another project I'm going to be having is, um, what else? Um, oh yeah, creating a better campus calendar. So it's you actually know about the events on campus. I feel like a lot of times people walk on campus and they realize that there is an event going on but they had no idea about it. Um, or creating a better system where students can get information about deadlines to graduate and stuff, um, you know, without, you know, just seeing it the day before the deadline. Especially like scholarships, a lot of students don't know until like the day that it's due or something like that. Um, and so, these are just some of the projects I'm going to be working on. I, I, but my main focus is to really create a sense of a community on this campus. I feel like everybody, um, and from the results I got from students, I feel like people come to campus, they go to class, and they go back home. Um, AGS is a little different. You guys are all more involved. But for a lot of the other students, it's kind of, there is no sense of like a community on this campus. And I even talked to faculty members, and they told me the same thing. And so I really want to work on creating this vibe of friendliness um, you know, where you just come on campus and you see students, you know, interacting with each other and, and doing other activities and being involved instead of just school and work and always being stressed. Um, so my business card's there and my agenda's there for any of you who want, who want to pick it up. But thank you for listening. Um, so like I was saying, please vote in this election. It's really important that your voice is heard. Uh, these two candidates are part of AGS and it's really 
awesome that I'm seeing them like trying for something even higher than we're doing. And it's really up to them to determine what we do with our club. Like everything that we do, it's approved by them. If we need funds, it's approved by them. So our relationship, it's really important. Um, and it's nice that it's some of our people that are gonna be representing our student body government. Um, uh, I know we're running out of time, but she's gonna talk about this, but okay. Um, I was thinking because my one of my classes is gonna be canceled next week, so I was thinking that for people who need to still earn AGS service points, I was thinking we could do a long haul bake sale. It would be either on the 10th or the 12th, would, you know, one is a Monday, one is a Wednesday, and the times would be from nine to one on the bridge. It's not, I know it's not a bridge, but it's just its nickname, the bridge. Um, so if you guys want to vote, um, what days? Because I know a lot of you, you know, at the end of the semester, you might be like, ah, oh, you know, I don't have my points. So who would be available to come Monday? You guys like Monday? You just raise your hand. If you like, even if you're not gonna, like, let's say you don't know for sure you can come, but just to get like a poll of like. Who, who thinks that like Monday is a good day? Okay. And what about Wednesday? I right. Wednesday. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's not set yet. I'm gonna ask the next group uh, tomorrow, and whatever both of you guys suggest. Yeah, and even if you can't come for a long time, please just come a little bit. And even if you only bake 12 cookies or something, it really helps because that the funds we raise help pay for YED and the and the convention and other activities, so um, it really helps if you guys donate something, and if you need any baking tips or any fun little ideas, just come see me by my office hours, or even just comment on the Facebook page, and I'll, we can set it up to where I can meet you somewhere on campus. Um, I'm always open to that, so go team, go! One more thing, who else is still gonna invite someone for YED who hasn't told me? Can you guys please let me know by Thursday? Like, please, I need to know. And you guys can still come and not bring a staff member, but it's kind of nicer to have a staff member. But you still need to let me know that you're coming. I can save a seat and have food for everyone. And it's free, guys. <laughs> and it's fun. <laughs> I don't decided to do the catering. Yeah, we decided it's going to be. Debbie. Yeah, oh, <laughs> <laughs> let me pull this up for you guys. Um, it's going to be Debbie. She's worked at College of Marin, I mean, with many different groups, and she's awesome. She used to be, she used to go here, so she's an alumni here, so she has like a, like a passion commitment to College of Marin students, and she's giving us a killer deal, yeah. and, and um, she's giving us tablecloths. Uh, yeah, like uh, every place and utensils and cups. And it's gonna be cute. Um, <laughs> it was paper plates last time. That's why. I know it's like in a storm. It's it's like a salad and fruit assortment. It's all like um, what are they called? Like the shaping cushion. So it's all like buffet style. And I believe she's doing a pasta dish with chicken. Yeah. She's Ravioli, yeah. Spanish ravioli with chicken. Yeah. And then there's a vegan option as well. Right? Yeah. yeah. There's a vegetarian one or vegan. And then like cookies and little. Yeah, they have like dessert assortment. Yeah. So there was several options. And then drinks and all tablecloths and all that stuff is provided. And they'll bring it and take away. Yeah. Do you guys suggest anything for drinks for the event? Like I was thinking like sodas and waters, but like anything. Apple cider. Apple cider. Apple cider. No. <laughs> yeah, like the sparkling, like the mm -hmm. Yeah. I, I'll buy that then. Well, thank you everyone for being here. I hope you guys all had a really good break. It was much needed. I'm <laughs> ready to be over. <laughs> but yeah, you guys are free to go.